A first look at the accommodation in Qatar's World Cup fan village has left many supporters in disgust. The showpiece, which is being played in the winter for the first time ever, kicks off in 10 days' time and images of where thousands of fans will be staying have been circulating online, with more than a million people coming from all across the globe for the festival of football, Qatar has had to use cruise ships as floating hotels to accommodate the sheer amount of guests. And another idea they launched is a series of fan villages, though they look like shipping containers and make the fire festival accommodation look 5-stars.at the Alamadi fan village, twin single and double beds are available and there is a mini fridge and bathroom slash shower in each cabin, as well as air conditioning. You get two bottles of water to help you get through the sweltering desert conditions and on site there is a large screen to watch games, as well as a tennis court and fitness center. However, the rooms look like something you'd get in student halls at university. You might think that it's only someone to lay your head but stays will set you back 740 Qatari rial, which is nearly 200 pounds, per night. Understandably, the state of the accommodation has been with met with a wave of furious reaction on social media, according to iNews, sports bars in Doha, Qatar's capital, are charging extortionate prices for alcohol. For the group stages, the Marriott Hotel's champion sports bar, named by Time Out magazine as the best sports bar in the city, is charging fans 200 Qatari rials, or 48 pounds, for entry to watch the action. The fee includes three drinks, with Budweiser, Corona, or a glass of house wine on the menu, but then the prices go up as the competition advances. For the semi-finals and final, entry fee is set at a ridiculous 1,000 rials, which equates to 240 pounds and essentially means customers are forking out 80 pounds for a single beverage. It should all be noted that if you stay for more than one game, you then have to be pay another entry fee. Former FIFA president Sepp Blatter has admitted that awarding the World Cup to Qatar was a, a mistake and at this point it's hard to disagree.